what is up how's everybody doing um welcome back to the channel if you haven't been here before please hit the subscribe button the like button leave a comment below how i can make it better if you like it you don't like it what do you want to see so i had a comment about making the likes and dislike of the lo206 and i'm kind of worried about making this video because i don't want people to shy away but i want you to know what problems we've run across so you guys don't run across the same issues so i'm still having the cutout problem but we're going to fix that today for sure because i've replaced everything except for the cord so most likely it could be the cord we're here for the rock cut practice miguel's doing some tuning we got stewart he torpedo torpedo is now with chad doc and racing we want some good tuning advice Hit up Chad. Sorry, sweats down my eyes. We have senior. So, issues that we have found out with this is if it doesn't start, sometimes the stick, this uh, the kill switch, will stay down. So you gotta play with it. We've had fuel pumps go out. You can see when there's a lot of bubbles in the air. Make sure you keep your carb clean. And we haven't had any issues with the spark plugs yet. I think I've changed mine once. Make sure you put a fuel filter on your cart because crap gets in the cart. And uh, make sure you have oil in it. Uh, we've gone through a couple blocks. They just come back from factory. Like uh, some of the connecting rods have been coming in loose. But when they're in stock, you know, it's not an issue. Uh, best thing about the 206, the, uh, the bottom end is just like 300 bucks. And uh, once you get the valves cut, keeping it fresh is not that expensive either. So we do it. We do it all ourselves. So uh, we freshen up our own motors. Um, Miguel does a leak down test on them. Uh, he laps the valves. So cart's good. The motor's not, but we're gonna fix it today. So let's see what happens. I need to get this fixed. For sure. So we found the issue. The wire was smashed underneath here, which was making it cut out. It was grounding itself out. This is the wire that goes from your ignition to a kill switch. So now that we figured out the issue, let's try to find our wire, or let's fix this wire. I either put a splice on it, cover it up with some electrical tape, or see if they got another wire. Hopefully they got another one. If not, we can fix this. Too easy. All right, so Noah, actually, there's Torpedo. Hi, Torpedo. Noah, uh, Gordon, let me borrow. I'm not gonna give it that, so he's giving it to me. <laughs> he just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> but this is an actual ongoing issue. It, it's from a spare motor, and it's starting to crimp there, so. I'm gonna figure a way, probably zip tie it up and add some um, some electrical tape on top, give it a little bit of extra protection. So, check your kill switch wire. This is from a pretty new motor, right? How long have you had the motor? Pretty new. It's pretty new. This is the issue. So, thanks, Gordon. Chris, how you day go? It was a great testing session. Yeah. Uh, tested a lot of different things. Exactly what's working for me. That'll be good tomorrow. What do you like about this uh, engine package, and what don't you like about this engine package? This I, is a, I this put them on, on the spot. This is a good engine package for me. I think that I've got more torque, low end coming out the turns than I do than I have with other engine packages and then the other gearing set. Okay, cool. It's about the best package that I've had put together yet. And I mean, I was running the same, same time as everybody else. Right there. Nice. Yeah. You know. All right, well, you think you have anything for tomorrow? Yep. All right, good. I think, uh, I think I'll be up front. All right, good to hear. That's Chris, guys. He'll be up front. Let's talk to Senior. Senior, how'd your yep. day go? Yo, pretty good. We still don't know trying things. Yeah. Or he says, don't do it, I'm still doing what do we think will happen. 
little bit slower. Yeah, we were at practice session. He played around with gearing. I got the engine fixed. His lap times look really good. We're looking good. We're good yeah, on track. Part definitely. looks good, feels good. A little bit shaky, but we got to check the alignment. Yeah, we got to look at the alignment and we might have to fix an axle. Yeah. He's been running around. That might have been when you hit me. That was Anderson. Sense. Yeah, that's Anderson when you hit me. I bent the rim and he bent the axle. <laughs> so. We're got, going at it. Yeah, I love teammates. Let's look at Stewart. Right. Stewart, how did your day go? Yeah. Oh, it was good. Uh, it was a little wet this morning, slippery this morning, but you know, my biggest issue is around the waist. So that's a, that's a work in progress and never ending battle. So Stewart's been in the process of moving, and in that process, he decided to gain some weight. But he was also practicing on tires that were completely gone because he's too yeah, cheap. Yeah, had about three, four hundred bucks on them. So, he got some new tires on. He can't do anything about the waist tonight. Three, three, three seconds tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he needs to pick up three seconds. Oh, he got some subscribers. Chilling out. He ended up buying a TV. He's on a Tilston. How, how you do today? I'm good. Yeah? What's your name? My name is Josh Lake Prasad and I have a TV Tilton. Ah, he's on a TV but he has a Tilliston. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Got the, so got faster. The, ooh. And he's a shit talker. <laughs> Miguel, Miguel went out there practice today. They're pretty good. So should be a good day tomorrow. Ready for tomorrow? You racing tomorrow? Uh, watching. watching watching tomorrow yeah, my cart's not allowed it's too fast for you guys it's not allowed jesus don't kill it guys. yeah so man you guys talk a lot of crap <laughs> well i'm glad you guys are glad you're able to come out have a good time absolutely practice you know yeah, get thanks. some laps thanks for having us man. oh yeah Appreciate anytime it. it's john that's chris's son he doesn't talk now we got heat he did not have he what are you doing to your cart? He doesn't stop working man. He didn't bring any spare parts. And he sent it and, and smashed into some of them. They just went from bad to worse. What happened now? I lost the snap ring for this, the bearing. Why? Why did you take it out? I can't uh, it's not fitting. You know, it's the same size. I can I can get the threads down into it, but I can't get the oh, shoulder to have a of it. Here. It's the same. It's the same size. Is it? So it's, this is eight millimeters. This is eight millimeters. So why I mean, the threads fit? are even, but it won't go down in. So I was like, all right, well, let me get the bearing out. Let me see. Let me get it out and try and put it together here. And it flew off, hit my bearing, and went this way. And I saw it hit the dirt once here, and then it's like it's here somewhere. But it's all bringing flashbacks to two years ago in Anderson where I just needed, you know what, just that shit up and come on. It's just getting worse as the day goes on. So, That's some heat. Some things are like that. Some things are like that. You know what I mean? It's, it is what it is. <laughs> and guys, that's Heath. He was quick until uh, he wrecked. So, we'll get this patched up and he'll be out there tomorrow. <laughs> Alright guys, we have to look for a snap ring. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Thanks for everything you guys do. Catch you guys on track. Hope you guys like this video. <laughs> Jesus, Heath. <laughs>